Having lifted the French Cup at the end of April, Wren were determined to finally get back to winning ways as they welcomed bottom side Gangon to Roazen Park on Sunday. Julian Stefan's side haven't won in the league since early March, a run of eight games, and if they snap that run here, they would consign their Brittany neighbours Gangon to relegation. With Con and Dijon both winning on Saturday, the visitors had no choice, anything but victory, and their six season stay in the top flight would come to an end. Many Wren fans are no doubt relishing the prospect of sending down the side who beat them in the 2009 and 2014 at French Cup finals. Well, the first chance that went Gangon's way on nine minutes. A long ball from Jeremy Sorbonne running through to Marcus Coco. Saved by Thomas Kubek well outside his area. Just a hint of handball there. But it was Wren who went ahead with their first chance of the game. Route one stuff, a long ball from Kubek, a header on from Umbai Nyang, and a superb finish here from Ismail Assar. The Senegalese winger with a fantastic lob for his seventh of the campaign. He was also on target in last week's two-all draw with Toulouse. A great header from Nyong as he leapt above Christophe Kerbrat there. And Saar clearly onside, taking care of the rest. 1-0 to Ren with 15 minutes gone. Great awareness and a lovely finish from Ismail Assar. And that was how it stayed until the interval. Gangon making a change for the second half with Alexandra Mendy replacing Luca Doe. And there was renewed hope for Jocelyn Gorvanek's visitors when Rennes were reduced to 10 men on 79 minutes. Jezinho Nayamsi going in a little too enthusiastically there on Mendy. Getting a second yellow card and his marching orders from the referee. So Rennes down to 10 men for the last 13, 14 minutes of the game. The first yellow card for Nayamsi coming from that challenge on Ludovic Blas in the first half. As Gangon made their extra man count just three minutes from time. A first effort brilliantly saved by Kubek, but there was Mendy to fire in the rebound. His first goal of the season, and his first for Gangon since April 2017. Lebogong Piri, the first man to go close with the original effort that was saved by Kubek. Mendy giving Gangon hope. They even got a chance to stay alive for at least another week when they were awarded a penalty at the death. Just inside stoppage time. And a handball going against Rami Bentabaini. Marcus Turam with the chance to get the victory for Gangon, but unbelievably, it was straight at Kubek. And the header going wide on the rebound. A terrible moment for Turam. And for Gorvanek and for Gangon. As it finished 1 1. And that means that they are the first side to be officially relegated to Domino's League 2.